Og det er YouTube, how's it going? Uh, Marie, Sunday video for, for this week is this uh, IGB SPT by Aria Pro 2. Don't know much about this. The closest I can see about this is the Korean made Integra. So they made the Integra 4 and Integra 5, obviously, but the, the headstocks are similar, then they changed them to the, the other headstock they use. But I think this is the last of the Japanese uh, because I found it in a Japanese catalogue this uh, IGB SPT basically what they've done is is they've took the same shape if you look at the shape of this this is the same shape as the, as the I think it's the SP1000 that Cliff Burton uses so they took the same shape, shrunk it a little bit kept the same headstock obviously put PJ configuration in it it's got a carved top, uh, bridges solid, uh, it's nice rosewood fretboard, painted black neck. So I think this is the kind of cheaper kind of alternative to that basic cliff button uses because they're, they're like a thousand pound plus, they one end plus, they've got gold hardware and stuff. Uh, so then they made this, I think off of this then they made the Integra, the Tegra's similar. Uh, Mad Malko's got an Aria Pro 2 as well, he picked up, but it's got the same uh, neck pickup as Cliff Burton's. Don't know if it's around the same, but it's the same style of pickup. Uh, and his has got a jazz pickup as well. Uh, this has obviously just got the standard split pickup, P bass and then jazz bass uh, volume for each pickup than a master tone. Uh, it looks like it's it's meant to look like it's a, a set neck but obviously it's not it's a it's a bolt on this has had a wee bit of damage to it uh, someone i call it the snake bite so what's happened is is these two screws here are shorter than these two screws so when somebody's had the neck off what they've done is they've put these two screws here and it's burst through the, the front I've just put a bit of vinyl so you can see it. Plus, they were telling me uh, that one of the screws is snapped, so they've got another screw here. So, but as I say, this is this isn't a we change a strap. This strap's doing my head in. Uh, this isn't just about this. Uh, this just isn't about this base. This is about my my BH two fifty and how that kind of works. There's no very many videos on YouTube about the BH250. There's a couple, but there's no many. Uh, the reason I was, I was looking for a new app, <clears throat> I was looking for one, that, that lane there is quite old. <clears throat> so I wanted something a wee bit smaller. Because I got my I got to my friend's house and I, I kind of jammed him when my leg was better, so I wanted something that I could take up. So my my original plan was just to buy the TC. It was either going to be the, it was the TC. I can't remember what it was called. But it's a hundred and a hundred watt one, which is just a basic app. Then you've got the BH two fifty and the BX two fifty. I think the BX two fifty's got. I don't know where it's going, <clears throat> but I, I was reviewing what lines I was going to buy before I bought it. And why I bought this is because it's got what's called a tone print for effects. So this is my works phone because obviously I'm recording my own phone. So I'll show you for the start. <clears throat> so if you look, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. That's obviously my home page who I work for. So you download an app called Tone Print. <clears throat> So when you look through, you can see all the pedals that TC Electronics make. So you get a chorus pedal, uh, you get a chorus mini chorus, and there's loads, there's loads. But with this, <coughs> you basically you do is you, you pick tone print bass amps. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, two minutes to try and adjust where I'm going. So tone print bass amps, so you pick that. And it gives you loads of different effects. So this on it is 
pulling a close which you can get the pedal for, but you can pick that and you've got loads uh, Adam Holzman, Andy Summers, Brad Whitford <clears throat> but the one I got it for, this is what made me pick the BH250 over the other ones you can see the BH500 as well, which is always a 500 watt this is 250 watt <clears throat> which is the fact that it's got Duff McKagan's effects on it but my original plan was I was going to buy this and I'm going to buy, you, you get a, there's a 2x8, I think you can get, I might buy that eventually and then I, that'll be if I can just take this and the 2x8 which is tiny and I can just take the whole lot up with the base, my mates actually bought a lot of base up so I can just take my amp up and use that if I decide to do that uh, but I've, I love this base, so, it's base amp sorry, <coughs> so I'll show you so this has got Duff McKagan's chorus through it. So what TC have done is no matter what you buy, if you buy a pedal or you buy an amp, if you set everything to 12 o'clock, so you've got the, here you've got, you can switch between passive and active. Obviously this is a passive. Uh, you've got bass, middle, treble, and your tone print. It's got a tuner on it as well. So it says E, A, D, G, but it also tunes six string basses and five string basses. So if you've got a five string, you hit the B, your E and A will light up, and then your two B arrows here will light up green, and that'll tell you you've got a B, then it'll go E, then your A, your D, and then your G, and then when you go to your last string, when you're a six string, your D and G will light up, then your two B arrows will light up to tell you you're in tune. And you don't have to have, you don't have to have your amp turned down. So you don't have to hear yourself tuning. So you can either turn your amp down or there's a switch, a mute switch, that mutes the amp. But also, also what it's got is at the back, you've got a power switch at the back, power supply, you've got a pedal jack, you've got a auxiliary in, so you can then get a wee, ca a wee cable here, a wee quarter, a wee, uh, Three quarter jack that you plug in the back that goes into your anything and you can play stuff through your amp. You've also got a wee three quarter head socket so you don't have to use the, the cab so you just need to plug that in. It bypasses the speak on and lets you play whatever you like to play through that. But it's amazing. Now, I mean, you can't even have multiple effects. To do that you would need a pedal board. Uh, but for basic, I've got a pedal board that I can use if I really want to, but this has got the chorus, it's got Duff McKagan's in just now, so I'll let you hear a bit of Duff McKagan's chorus. So. <laughs> recorded his uh, effects so then you obviously can mess about with it uh, I won't go into that too much detail but if you turn it off it turns off your <laughs> straight through the bass that's me going so I'll show you how this works right so what you do is you turn everything up full right and then you go into, so you go into your app and you pick tone, tone print apps. So if you can see that because of the light. So I'll pick that, <clears throat> and then what I'll do is I'll pick uh, a wee bit of bass drive, and I'll think we'll go for tube drive, right? So you pick that, and it comes up. Send to app. Right, so what you do is you just beam your amp, hit next, tells you to have volume up, everything else. 
So this is the so you see, I don't think you see that green light there. So when I hit beam, the green light's flashing. And that's it sent. That's it sent to the amp. So now when I play it. Because that's no a good it's you can hear it but I'll put a lot back grind on actually. This is mere. You just put it on. You hear it coming through the amp. Then you just hit done. You can hear it, you hear the distortion there's about a drive that. This is called the beast. This is the this is not done by a any artist. This is just one that TC have put on themselves. This is this is called the beast. So if you're into kind of duff, so you can go you can get his chorus, you need to slap, there's some people who do, uh, I think Victor Wooten's got one on it, which is good for your slap, but you can hear it, it's, it's, it's quite aggressive this, so this is good for... No, just that line is just my spare. In fact, I had my son in uh, last night having his wee bass, and I was showing him how to do the walking and uh, doing a bit of slap as well. Which is, uh, this bass is quite. <laughs> <clears throat> like everything else I like to have different stuff so I've got my, my, my bass that I specifically play Guns N' Roses on I've got the one for I play uh, Motorhead and this for doing uh, Metallica so that's it that's the fun to give me show you how the TC Electronics works I say it's a really nice bass they're pretty they're pretty cheap considering uh, that was I was looking about I was I tried a few places, I tried Amazon, I tried Banks Music, I tried uh, Guitar Guitar, I tried loads of places, the cheapest place I seen it was Anderson for £189, that's just for the head, uh, you can only attach your cab way speak on, you can use your uh, quarter jack, it doesn't work, so it has to be the speak on. But what I did find out, which we'll need to check with this, is the BH, the BH500 one, where the speak on is, in the centre of that, they've actually put a jack in the centre. So I'll need to check that out, I've never actually looked. But that, that's got a jack in the middle, yeah, the actual speak on, which is quite a cool idea. So, But as I say, I bought this cab anyway, to take speak on and quarter jack. 
So it's a nice, a nice amp. Uh, you can get a combo, which I suppose is really good. But it's got two channels for tone print. Uh, but I quite like the idea of this because even if I didn't want to take a cab with me, what I could do is if I was going to work, is take my son's uh, three quarter bass. I could put that in a bag and a set of headphones. And I could sit in my hotel room and just sit and play away with the bass, just practice away. Uh, but I, it's, uh, I'll be a wee bit me. I'm, I'm kind of just showing you what the stuff that I've got on the room. Uh, my ankle's still killing me, so standing up is fucking so, so. So mm. I, it's a. If he can comment, if, he's, if anybody's actually watching these videos, I don't know. Uh, just comment and let me know. As I say, if you want to have it, it's Japanese. Uh, and it's basically a cheaper version of the SB1000 that uh, Cliff Button uses. Yeah, I've changed the, I've changed the, the, the whole volume knobs to actual black ones. Uh, you can see Aria Pro 2 on there. On the pickups, uh, aye, that's uh, I think. Twenty-four steel, uh, twenty-four, twenty-four frets. Uh, I believe, but I, I swapped. I actually swapped it for a jazz bass because I've only got two jazz basses. I've got my vintage seventy style, and I've got my five string jazz. But I don't see the point in having too many jazz basses because all plays P basses really but I wanted this one because it's cliff buttons and I liked it so yeah so hope you like the video please like and subscribe uh, it says definitely recommend the TC electronics I think you, you can probably get the head I priced it all in the head and the 2x8 <coughs> uh, speaker that's capable of taking 200 watts this is two fifty. Obviously, you're never going to have it up full belt anyway. So, uh, I think all in was just over three hundred quid. Uh, so, I, uh, uh, I love, I love this. I love that idea. That you don't have to have millions of pedals. All you need is an app, uh, and your guitar, your amp, and you don't even need a cab really. If you're in the house, you just use a set of headphones. And then you can just try loads and loads of different effects. It's a brilliant amp, very, very highly recommended. Uh, I'm more worried, I was thinking of getting the 500, doesn't need uh, that would easily, you gig easily with that, easily. So, hope you like the video. Uh, I'm starting to be a bit more playing as my leg gets better, just to show you what the bass sound like. Uh, yeah, so about the BH. 250 highly recommended TH make brilliant products and if you didn't want to buy them you could try their pedals so I think that was the whole lot of, I keep saying I'm going away but I keep thinking about stuff to say uh, <clears throat> I think the idea of it is, is, is you can get to try all your different effects before you buy the pedal so you could try your chorus so if you like your chorus but you want to try chorus with a different effect then you can just buy a, buy a pedal the thing, the only thing is, is if, if it's chorus, you can only buy a chorus pedal. So a chorus pedal will only take chorus effects. You can only put like the the beast into the chorus. So you need to buy a pedal for the, that kind of beast thing. Uh, they're coming out. I think we are multiple a multi effects pedal where you can actually have chorus drive uh, stuff like that. But to be honest with your bass, we never really use that. The, the drive one I use if I'm doing. Metallica and the chorus. I don't really use anything else unless I'm just messing about with the stuff, but it's, uh, even just with foot, the effects on it, that amp is amazing. Amazing. So, really highly recommended TC Electronics BH250. Uh, if you don't want the, the effects, you don't want the tone print, they do the other one, which is the 
BG250. It doesn't have the tone print on it. That's just a basic arm head. It's got some TC thing on it. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I kind of bypassed it as soon as I knew I could get Duff McGagan on it. So. <laughs> right, so, hope you like the video. Like, subscribe, and uh, see you soon.